Hi, I'm Mark Collier from TheOpenAlgorithm.com and today I'm going to talk about a common problem I've seen with a couple of my SEO clients that uh, operate under multiple websites. So most of my clients are from Ireland and they start off with a .ie domain. Maybe they don't plan to go global, maybe they just want to start .ie and think it's okay to move to .co.uk or .com domains as they expand, which is fine. But the problem uh, originates when they do expand. So normally these guys are small companies that don't necessarily operate in a digital or internet medium. Uh, so they might offer training services, they might offer construction services, it doesn't really matter. But the point is they've expanded from one site to two sites. And because they aren't focusing much of their time on the digital side of marketing and on the digital side of their business, they usually ask their programmers or whoever creates the second website to duplicate the content across both sites. So what you get is the same about page on the .co.uk site as you have on the .ie site. And you have the same blog posts and articles on the .co.uk site as you have on the .ie site. So effectively you're seeing two content issues. From a user's point of view, it's okay. So this is how the webmaster, the beginner webmaster thinks. He thinks, okay, if a user comes onto the UK site, it doesn't care whether uh, you've copied the article from the .ie site because we, we own by the same com company, you know, we're offering the same services. It's the same service, just on, under a different domain. But of course, the search engines don't understand this, and this is where these companies maybe get a little confused or don't really get how the search engines work. So the search engines are going to get confused because they have this thing called the duplicate content penalty. And what that means is whoever originally wrote the article will get the credit in terms of search engine traffic and ranking. So the .ie site, in this case, would rank better for the about page than the .co.uk site if the search engine doesn't understand that they're written by the same author, that it's okay that they're duplicated across. So this is one case where duplicate content is fine. So from the user's point of view, it's fine. And i.e. from and basically from the search engine's point of view, it's also fine. But the search engine doesn't understand it's fine yet. So you need to tell the search engine in a way it understands that it's okay for this content to be put on this domain. So the best way to do that would be to pick whichever website is most important to you. And most, most of the cases I've dealt with, the original website is most important. So the .ie site, which maybe is founded four years before the UK site, is most important to the owner. So what I say to the owner is, make the UK site have this thing called the rail canonical tag on its pages and posts. So what that means is, you'll make the rail canonical point to all the articles the corresponding article on the .ie site. So if you have an about page on the .ie and an about page on the .co.uk, you make the rail canonical of the UK about page the .ie about page. And what that says to the search engine is, this is the preferred URL. We know we've duplicated it across both sites. This .ie about page is the right one. If you're going to pick and choose between the two, pick the .ie one. But in most cases, the search engines understand this to mean because they have some other indications, so if you have the domain name the same or the who is data the same, they understand this rel canonical to mean that they should show the UK about page to people who search on, let's say, Google UK or Bing.co.uk. And they'll show the .ie about page to people searching from Google.ie or Bing.ie. And what that does is, it shows the right page to the right people. So from a search engine point of view, that's good. And from a return on investment point of view for the website, that's excellent. Because let's say you're a training services company. You can't book the training services for UK on the .ie site. And you can't book the Irish training services on the UK site. So using the rail canonical cleverly in this case will solve the duplicate content issue. So basically, if you have two sites that operate in different markets and duplicate content across both, and you think from a user's point of view it's okay to duplicate the content, 
then tell the search engines via the rel canonical tag that this article is the same as this article and pick your most important one, pick your most important website. And in most cases, with my clients at least, we've seen that the search engines say, okay, well, thank you for informing me. Now, we understand it a little bit better and we're going to show the UK articles to UK searches and IE articles to Irish searches. Which is the perfect solution for my clients at least and hopefully for your business. So I hope that helps and I hope it removes any duplicate content issues you may have been seeing or problems you've been seeing with launching a new site. Uh, if you want any more tips or tricks on SEO uh, or to learn more about search engine algorithmic factors head over to theopenalgorithm.com and you'll find loads of tutorials, video and text over there. Thanks.